everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. Today I'm going to do something completely different. Uh, I guess it's more of a craft than it really is uh, a cook. I'm going to do feet loaf. Yes, I said feet loaf in honor of Halloween. These are going to be little meat loaves uh, shaped like feet. Uh, they're going to appear to be severed. And uh, uh, I saw a picture of this the other day. I thought it looked cool. I like a challenge, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, what the heck? So. I'm going to get this stuff mixed up here in a minute. Uh, I usually use some diced tomatoes and some onions in my meatloaf mix uh, to help keep it moist. But today I'm going to leave that out because I want this to bind together uh, a little more than normal. And I'm also going to add a little extra panko. So we'll get this put together and we'll see what we get. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, hamburger uh, mixed up for this feet loaf recipe. I have three pounds here of 80-20 ground chuck. I have a cup and a half of regular old panko breadcrumbs. Uh, I believe these are the Italian style. And I have a little over a tablespoon of salt, pepper, garlic. And you've heard me say many times, whenever I work with ground beef, you don't want to overwork it. Uh, for hamburgers or even meatloaf, uh, you want to try to keep the little spaces in between the fibers of the uh, meat where it was extruded uh, so that the juice has a place to, to stay. Uh, if it's too compact, that juice will just run out and your meatloaf won't be as juicy. So I'm going to get this mixed up here. Okay, so there's the basic meatloaf. So I've got two eggs here, beaten. And we'll just fold that in with the meat. And I am not going to subject you or myself to the uh, probably humiliating process of watching me try to build these feet. So. Uh, I'm going to get these things put together here in a minute and uh, so I said I have three pounds so that's going to be one and a half pounds uh, per foot and uh, if I pull this off it'll be quite a feat. <laughs> so mix 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 a roux, technical term and uh, I'll be right back when I get these things put together. Okay, all you guys and ghouls, this is my uh, best effort at sculpting some feet. Um, we have onions for the bone, onions for the nails, and I'm going to pour a mixture of barbecue sauce and ketchup down, uh, down the edges uh, as they get a little bit closer uh, to being done. So we'll get these out on the grill here in a minute, and we'll see what we get. Okay, I've got Angus fired up to about 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and get our feet loaves on, put that right in the center, get it closed up, and I'll probably spin this around, I don't know, in about uh, 40 minutes or so. I guess it'll probably take an hour, hour and 15 uh, until the internal temp uh, gets to 135. So we'll check on it in a bit and see what we get. Okay, everybody, happy Halloween. Here are my uh, feet loaves. Uh, I, this is part of a collaboration I'm doing with uh, a bunch of other YouTube channels. I'm going to put a hashtag down below, and if you click on uh, the, uh, the description, uh, it will take you to their video so you can kind of see what they came up with. Everybody's going to create some kind of a spooky, uh, a spooky dish to serve. I'm not going to taste this tonight, but um, it looks delicious. It smells delicious. It was a lot of fun to do and uh, something totally different. So... Thanks so much for watching. As always, stay safe. If you're so inclined, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.